Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And on our next inhale, we can reach those arms out to the sides and up, taking a deep breath in as we do. Palms together, exhale the hands to heart center. We'll lower to the knees, hands for support. Let the forehead lightly touch the ground, taking a moment to embody humility, to embody respect, to embody an openness to whatever this practice may hold and a willingness to try. On our next inhale, we can stand back up, reaching those arms out to the sides and up, palms together overhead, exhale the hands to heart center, eyes closed, just begin to rock from heel to toe, so a little softness in the knees. Try to go from that heavy, inert state to that nice, soft, and flowing state. And if you find yourself losing your balance, move slower. Pay attention to the breath because the breath is an extension of that movement and the movement is an extension of the breath. And then we can root down through the feet, spread out through the toes. Let's inhale the arms out to the sides and up. Deep breath in. Interlace the fingers overhead, look up. And touch those index fingers with your thumbs. Pull the arms back, lift high up onto the toes. Reach for the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, and on our next exhale, heels down, bend the knees, sweep the arm forward, cleansing breath. <sighs> Inhale up, let's do it again, exhale. <sighs> Inhale up, two more. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Inhale up, hands to heart center. Make sure you're standing in the center of your transverse mat. Bring your feet together. Reach the arms up. Take a deep breath in. Face forward. Turn that right palm forward, thumb and fist. Catch the wrist and pull to the left. Exhale. Inhale up. Switch the grip. Left palm forward, thumb and fist. Pull to the right. Exhale. Inhale up. We'll bring the palms together overhead. Look up. Sit back with Katasana. Draw the arms back. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. We'll rise up. On your next exhale, hop the feet wide, open the arms wide. We're gonna cartwheel to our left foot. Cartwheel to the left foot. Both hands, hands come down, drop your right knee down. Inhale, look up. On our exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Rock forward, drop knees, chest, chin down. Inhale through cobra. Exhale, let it go. Push up, press back, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward. Drop that left knee, inhale, look up. Now here's where it changes, everything changes. Lift your left knee on an exhale. Walk your hands to your left foot, other side of the mat. And as soon as you're facing your left foot, we'll step the right foot forward. Feet come together, sit back with Katasana, lift those arms up, inhale, and then rise. Hands to heart center, exhale. Arms out to the sides and up, inhale. Exhale, we fold all the way down. Step the left leg back, turn halfway to your left. Keep the knees a little soft, rise, arms all the way out to the sides and up. Hop the feet in. Hands to heart center, exhale. Feet together, arms out to the sides and up, inhale. Face forward, turn your left palm forward, thumb and fist, exhale to the right. Inhale up, switch the grip, right palm forward, thumb and fist, pull to the left. Inhale up. Palms together again, it's Katasana, sit back. Three cycles of breath, inhale, exhale, two more. Last one. Inhale, rise, exhale, hop the feet wide, arms open. Cartwheel to your right leg, other side of the mat. Drop your left knee down, inhale, look up. Hands flat, step back, down dog, exhale. Rock forward, drop knees, chest, chin down. Inhale through cobra, let it go, exhale. Push up, press back, downward facing dog. 
And we'll step our left foot forward. Drop that right knee down. Inhale, look up. But on our exhale, lift that right knee. Walk the hands to the right foot. Other side of the mat, looking forward. Left foot steps forward. Feet together, Utkatasana. Inhale, step back, arms up. Rise tall, hands to heart center. Exhale. Arms out to the sides and up. Inhale. And we'll fold back down. Exhale. Right leg steps back. Turn halfway to the right. Keep both knees a little soft. Reach the arms out to the sides and up. Inhale. Pop the feet in. Hands to heart center. Exhale. Arms out to the sides and up. Inhale. Move the feet beneath the hips. Exhale the hands to the low back. So thumbs either side of the sacrum. Draw the shoulders back. Drop the tail down. Move the hips forward. And as the hips move forward, keep the chest lifted. Lift the chin. Drop the head back. Inhale, we rise. Arms up, palms together. Exhale, we fold all the way down. And we can move around if we need to encourage that. Or we can go static right away, sliding the hands face up beneath the fronts of the feet. Parahastasana. And pull against the feet. Inhale, look forward. On your exhale, pull down. Drop your head, relax the neck. Focus on the breathing. So every inhale, you might come out a little bit. You might even make it more dramatic and lift the chin. But every exhale, you pull in. Inhale. And exhale. Now on your next inhale, Let's look forward, but then on an exhale, hands out in front of you. Now, if you feel comfortable with the hands on a harder surface, hands can be off your mat. If you'd rather, feet can take a hop back so that the hands are on the mat. That's up to you. It's personal preference. Let's exhale into the hands, lift the heels, arms straight. Then inhale, relax, back into the heels, out of the hands. Exhale into the hands, lift the heels. Inhale, release. Now exhale, lean forward. You can take one little hop, keeping feet close to the ground, but take them wide. Or you can work on heel kicking the bum, legs wide. It's up to you. We're going to eventually bring the feet down. Look forward and lengthen. Nice, look forward. And then on our exhale, we're going to walk our hands to our left foot. And as soon as we're facing that left foot, come up into a high lunge. Arms will reach up. And hold. Exhale the hands to heart center. Sink a little bit deeper. Find a focal point on the floor. And on our next inhale, we're just going to lean forward and draw right heel to right buttock. Flex the toes. Breath in. Sink a little deeper into that left knee. Breath out. Right leg slowly back behind us. Inhale, reach those arms up. Take a deep breath in. On our next exhale, take both hands down. Take that left leg back into plank. Lower halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, look up. Lower toward the ground, exhale. Push up, press back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, we're going to lift the right leg up. Deep inhale, right leg up. Bring right knee into the nose or forehead. Exhale. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Last time. Inhale up. Step that right foot between the hands. Exhale. And we're going to walk our hands all the way to our left foot at the other side of our mat. And as soon as we're facing that left leg, take your left leg back and up. And let's integrate. So when you brought your right knee into the nose or forehead, and you did this three times, that's a nice deep active flexion. Let's use that deep active flexion now with the left leg, but we're going to use it for a vinyasa. So bring your left knee into the back of your left arm. Hug the elbows in. Lean forward. Now head can be on the ground or off the ground. Drop it if you need it. Drag the right foot in, lift it up. If it starts to lift but won't quite go, you can immediately bring right knee to the back of the right arm, full crow. Whether the head is down or uplifted, lift your left leg up. Left foot down behind us, right leg back and up, deep breath in. Right foot between the hands, exhale. Turn halfway to your left, but only half. As Soon as you turn halfway to the left, turn both 
feet out equal, bend both knees, bodhisattvasana, arms out to the sides and up, inhale, hands to heart center, exhale, close your eyes. Breath in, breath out. Two more. Last one. Straighten the legs, turn the toes forward, reach the arms up, inhale. Take two cleansing breaths, sweep the floor, exhale. Inhale up, again, exhale. Inhale up, fold, hands come all the way down. And we're gonna crawl to our right foot this time, right leg. Come up into a high lunge, arms reach up, deep breath in. Hands to heart center, exhale. Find a focal point on the floor out in front of you. Lean forward, roll left heel to left buttock. Uparga Hamsasana. Left leg back behind you, inhale, high lunge, both arms up, exhale, both hands down. Frame that right foot. Step back into plank, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale, lower down, exhale, push up. Press back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Lift the left leg up, deep breath in. Left knee into the nose or forehead, exhale. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. One more time, exhale. Inhale up, and then step that left foot between the hands. We'll walk our hands all the way to the right foot, other side of the mat, hands flat, right leg back and up. We're gonna use that active flexion again, just to transition away from this right leg. So bring right knee into the back of the right arm, hug the elbows in, lean forward, crown of the head could come down, lift that left leg up. Left knee to the back of the left arm. So you, again, crown of the head could be down, you could be in a head down, bakasana. Right leg up, right foot down behind us, left leg back and up, ekapada baka vinyasa, left foot between the hands, exhale, turn halfway to the right, turn both feet out equal, bend both knees, sit back, arms up, inhale, hands to heart center, exhale, and just take a moment, close your eyes, breath in and breath out. Inhale, straighten the legs. We're gonna take those two cleansing breaths again. Sweep the floor, exhale. Inhale up, last time. Inhale up, turn the toes forward, fold forward. Exhale, all the way. Now again, you can take a little hop back so your hands are actually on your mat, or you could have the hands off the mat, personal preference. But we've gotta get the legs back into the center of our mat. This could be a simple hop in, or it can be a hop up, and land the legs in, that's up to you. Exhale, lean forward, bend the knees a little, take the legs up and to the center. Nice, you guys, when you come to the center, just look forward, lengthen, fold and let it go. Feet together, sit back with Katasana, lift those arms up, deep breath in. Stand tall, feet beneath the hips, hands to heart center, close your eyes. Take a breath in, take a breath out. And we can inhale those arms out to the sides and up, deep breath in. On your exhale, let's bring the hands to the low back again, thumbs either side of the sacrum. Second time around, maybe a little deeper, draw the shoulders back, drop the tail down, push the hips forward, lean back, breath in. Breath out. Hands can walk down the backs of the legs. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, we'll rise. Arms up. Exhale, we fold all the way down. 
And again, if you need movement, allow the movement to come. If you're ready for Pada Hastasana, give your wrist creases that really needed squeeze with the toes. So slide the palms face up beneath the fronts of the feet. Pull against the feet. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pull down. Drop the head, relax the neck. You may find this one to be easier to hold static. On your next inhale, pull against the feet, look forward. On your exhale, hands flat. Now again, we're taking this head down, hop wide. This will be the last one for a little while. So this is gonna be a longer set. Your hands can be on your mat or off your mat. But again, if you need to hop the feet back a little bit, you can lean into the hands, exhale, bend the knees a little, take the legs wide on your next exhale. It's the same heel kicking to the backside. It just feels very different when you're doing it from a more narrow position. Nice. When you get the feet down, we'll look forward, lengthen. And we're gonna walk our hands to our left foot. As soon as we're facing that left foot, drop the right knee down. Inhale, lift the chin, look up. Straighten both legs, look back. Bend both legs, look up. Straighten both legs, look back. So let's do this one more time. Bend and look up. Straighten and look back. And we're going to hold that straight left leg position. Right foot can always step in. Bend the elbows back. Relax your neck. And the same breathing goes on. You can feel this left hip pulling back, right hip pulling forward. Now on our next inhale, we're gonna look forward, lengthen the spine. And we're gonna walk the hands forward. Now you can always slide your left foot back a little bit as you walk the hands forward. Because if again, if you want the hands on your mat, we're gonna lean into those hands with an exhale and then inhale, relax. Exhale, lean into the hands, arms straight. Inhale, relax. Now this time I want you to lean into the hands, exhale, no kicking of the buttocks. I want you to try to keep this left leg straight. So just lean forward, bend that left knee a little bit, but as you lift off, your left leg stays straight, right leg stays straight. And you're pushing the floor away with your hands. The reasoning with the straight right leg, straight left leg, is that the left leg's always reaching toward the ground in this case. Right leg is reaching toward the wall behind you. And we're gonna bring the left foot between the hands where it began, right foot down behind us, and as soon as the right foot's down behind us, we're gonna walk our hands all the way to our right foot, other side of the mat. Drop that left knee down. Right hand to right knee. Left hand forward and up. Take a deep breath in, Anjani Asana. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Really reach, but create space from the top of your left foot all the way through the front of your left leg through the left side of your torso, through the left side on your arm, through your arm. And take both hands down on an exhale. Step your right leg back into plank. Right hand beneath the nose, side plank. Left arm up and over the head, deep breath in. Lower that right hip almost to the ground. Left ear to left shoulder, inhale up. Again, exhale, inhale up. Step your left foot toward your right hand. Turn halfway to your right. Turn both feet out equal. Now we're gonna bend into this left knee halfway. Lift up all the way. Open your arms, palms forward, thumbs and fists. Bend your left elbow. Look over the right hand and lift the right toes into the air. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Again, breath in, breath out. And on our next inhale, we're gonna sweep this left hand in the direction of our right leg, come up into a high lunge. Draw that left knee forward and up. Arms will open, palms forward, thumbs and fists. 
Take the top of the left foot to the back of the right knee. Bend the right knee, bend the left elbow, look over the right hand. On your next inhale, arms up, left knee up. Take that left leg back, drop the hands down. Now, as soon as we drop the hands down again, we're gonna step the right leg this time back and up. And repeating things is very helpful. So let's bring this right knee into the back of the right arm again. We did this in the beginning of class. We're doing it again. Elbows hug in, lean forward, and we'll lift that left leg up. Now, crown of the head can be on the ground. Left knee to the back of the left arm, full crow, even if the head is down. Right leg up. Right foot down behind us. Left leg back and up. Take a deep breath in. Now listen, left knee to the outside of the left triceps. Exhale. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Last time, exhale. Inhale up. Step that left foot between the hands. Turn halfway to your right. Turn both feet out equal. And as soon as both feet have turned out equal, bend to the right knee as deeply as you can go. Left toes up. And just stay. Just stay. And we can use our right elbow to press right knee or thigh out, left hand to press left thigh down. And in this case, shoulders are square. We can close our eyes. Crown of the head is leading up. So we're really isolating this left leg. But if you want just a little bit more, we'll take two more cycles of breath so it won't be long. Left hand reaches around the right leg. And we'll reach that right hand in the direction of that left foot. And we can lift the chin and chest, look up, exhale, and let it go. Release, release the hands. We're gonna lift up just enough that we can turn to our right leg at the other side of the mat. And as soon as we're facing our right leg, we're gonna drop our left knee down. Right hand outside of right thigh. And we're gonna bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee or thigh. And actually, you guys, before we do this, before we do this, release your hands. Turn halfway to your left again, because I want you to feel this. We're gonna step this left knee in and down. Left knee in and down. So we're facing the front of our mat again, what was the front of our mat. We're gonna lift up to this half kneeling position for Parigasana. And you'll understand why in a second. Hug this right foot in, drop the right hip down, reach the arms up, take a deep breath in, left palm forward, thumb and fist, catch the wrist. We're gonna to pull to the right on an exhalation. Keep adding that tuck to the tail. Coccyx to pubic bone, sit bone to sit bone, anal urethral sphincters, the four parts of the phone number. Then inhale up. We'll exhale both hands down. We're gonna crawl back to our right foot that we were facing. You're gonna keep this left knee down. So left shin turns behind you, right knee will bend. Bring that left knee in just a little bit. Right hand to right thigh, reach that left arm up. Now twist to the right. Left elbow outside, right knee or thigh, palm to palm, heart meets thumb. In order to do a twist to the right, we must create space on the left side of the torso. We can lift our left knee, take a deep breath in, Take a deep breath out. Now on our next inhale, come up through a high lunge, high lunge. Draw that left knee forward and up, hands to heart center. Cross our left leg over the right leg. Hook the left ankle behind right ankle, sit a little bit deeper. Arms reach out to the sides and up, Garudasana. Left arm beneath right arm, exhale. Wrap the forearms, sit a little bit lower, drop the tail down, elbows up. Inhale, lift up, arms up, left knee up, but drop the left foot down next to the right foot. Hands to heart center. Arms reach out to the sides and up, inhale. Exhale, fold all the way down. Right leg steps back. Left leg back and up, deep breath in. 
Now, as soon as that left leg has uplifted, right hand is going to reach back and grab right ankle. If it's too far away, walk the hands back a handprint. That'll help. Then hold right ankle with right hand. Flexion of the left shoulder. Left foot down behind us slow. Right hand is going to slide to the back of the right thigh. Bend the knees toward the ground. Turn your knees to the right and sit on your buttocks. So you've done another right turn. All turns have been done to the right. Now feet are flat, knees point up, left hand directly behind the left shoulder. We can start by holding the right shin, but we're really going to move this right hand on the other side of the torso with the fingers pointing forward. And we can lift the chest, look up. And we don't have to go any further. This is deep enough extension for most of us. But if we want a little more, hips move forward and the right hand will move forward. Hips move forward, right hand moves forward, and we can drop the right elbow to the ground. Lift the chin slightly, look up. Two more cycles of breath. Slowly round the spine, knees toward the forehead, push the feet forward, sit up. And as soon as we're sitting up, let's take our left, our tricep against our left knee, thumb inside a fist, right hand holds right shin, bicep curl that left arm. Close the eyes. Focus on drawing the knuckles toward the shoulder. Feel what it imparts. A lot of what we feel in yoga, we can't explain right away, but it's not meant to be explained. As soon as we explain it, it becomes less powerful. It becomes all knowledge based. So let's let it go. So we need to understand. Sometimes we just need to feel. So give that wrist a good shake. And now we're going to do our first crow. And our first crow is no doozy. We're going to hold behind the thighs. It is a doozy, not a no doozy. It is a doozy. We're going to rock back and forth three times. Follow my cues. Rock back and then to a seat. All right, now rock back and rock to the feet. Rock back, rock to the feet, plant the hands, come into crow, lean forward, look forward, feet up or feet stay down. On your next exhale, fly back, chaturanga dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale. Lower toward the ground, but here's the best part, lay down. Yay. We'll reach the left arm off to the left side, same arm we've been working on. <coughs> Hand is flat. Right hand and knees, right shoulder, roll toward that left arm. Now, if you need to do this with your elbow bent, you can do the 90-degree bend of the elbow, same abduction. Look up toward the ceiling. Left foot flat. With both feet flat, move your hips away from that left arm. Then the right arm will reach up. Then we can drop the right hand down the low back, or we can hold our left hand. Breathe in. And breathe out. I'll start to slowly let this go. Roll back onto the abdomen. And as soon as we find ourselves on the abdomen, just reach the arms way out in front of you. Bring your palms together. Bring your big toes together. Bring your forehead on the ground. Close your eyes. It was a long first set, or I should say a long second set. It was two full rotations, two 360 degree turns. So right now, assimilate. If the body shakes, breathe. Maybe even add a little humming sound to the breath. When you have your head between your arms like this and you make that humming sound, it feels as though you're in a cave. And all you can hear is your own vibration. Now on our next inhale, <clears throat> we'll look toward our hands. Slide the hands back just beneath the shoulders. And we're going to push up to plank and hold. The left arm, we're not going to ask it to do anything, but we are going to ask the right hand. So move the right hand beneath the nose. Come into side plank, right arm. Left arm up and over the head. Deep breath in, reach. 
We're going to lower down twice. Exhale, right hip almost to the floor, left ear to left shoulder. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Left foot steps to right hand. Drop both hands. Turn halfway to your right, but only half. And as soon as we turn halfway to the right, we're looking forward, lengthen the spine. On our exhale, we'll walk the hands to the right leg. And facing the right leg, drop that left knee down. Inhale, look up. Straighten both legs, look back. Bend and look up. Straighten the legs and look back. Now let's do this one more time. Bend and look up. Straighten and look back. Now hold that straight position. We can always step that back foot in. Bend the elbows back. Drop the head. Relax the neck. Just breathe. Most beautiful part. Just breathe. You can feel the right hip pull back, left hip pull forward. We're going to start to walk those hands forward. As they walk forward, left leg will lift with both hands flat. We can, again, hands can be off the mat or on the mat. Just lean into the hands with an exhale, lift that right heel, and then relax a little. Exhale, lean into the hands, arms straight, push the floor away. Inhale, relax a little. Now exhale, lean forward, give a little bend to the right knee, but you're not heel kicking the buttock. You're trying to lift both legs straight. Exhale up. Exhale up. Exhale up. One more time. Exhale up. And then right foot will come down, right where it started. Left foot down behind us. Turn to your left leg all the way around to the other side of the mat. Drop the right knee down. Left hand to left knee. Right hand up. Deep breath in. And let's focus on this right side of the body. Push down to the top of the right foot. Stretch all the way up through that right leg, right side of the torso, right arm, look up. Inhale up, both hands down, left leg back and up, deep breath in. Repetition. So we're going to bring left knee into the back of the left arm. Hug those elbows in. Lean forward. Look forward. Crown of the head can come down. Right leg drags in and lifts up. Right knee to the back of the right arm. So it could just be a head down crow. Left leg up. Left foot down. Right leg back and up. Deep breath in. Step the right foot between the hands. Exhale. We're going to turn halfway to the left. Turn both feet out equal. Bend the right knee halfway. Lift up all the way. Open the arms. Palms forward, thumbs and fists. Bend the right elbow. Look over the left hand. And we can lift the left toes into the air. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale, high lunge, left leg, both arms up. Facing the left leg, draw your right knee forward and up. Arms open, palms forward, thumbs and fists. Top of the right foot, the back of the left knee. Bend the left knee. Bend the right elbow. Look over your left hand. Breath in. Breath out. One more. Inhale, arms up, right knee up. Take that right leg back, drop the hands down. Left leg back, plank. Left hand beneath the nose, side plank. Right arm up and over the head, deep breath in. We're only gonna go down twice. Exhale, inhale up. Again, exhale, inhale up. Step the right foot toward the left hand. Drop both hands, turn halfway to your left, only half. Turn both feet out, but we're going to bend into that left knee as low as we can go this time. Right toes up. 
And we can use, just like we did before, left elbow inside, left knee or thigh, right hand presses right thigh down, lift the torso as long as you can. It's so really isolating that right leg. But if you did so before, right hand reaches around the low back, hold the inside of the left thigh, walk your left hand in the direction of your right foot. You might grab the right foot briefly, inhale, pull against the foot, look up, exhale, pull down. We're gonna start to let this go, but let it go slow, release it. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did previously. So we're gonna start to turn to this left foot. We're gonna drop the right knee down. We're gonna start to twist to the left, right elbow outside, left knee or thigh. Feel where you may be getting hung up. And we're gonna let this twist go. We're gonna return halfway to the right. And as soon as you've returned halfway, you're gonna hop this right knee in and drop it down. Parigasana. Parigasana. So lift up, left hip down, move both hips to the right, arms reach up, deep breath in, right palm forward, thumb and fist. Pull this right wrist over to the left, exhale. Create space down the right side of the body. So we did the front right side of the body. Now we've got the lateral right side of the body. Inhale up. Exhale, both hands down. We're gonna crawl to the left leg. So we're gonna bend into that left knee, right shin turns behind us. Take left hand to your left thigh, reach that right arm up. Take a deep breath in. And now bring right elbow outside, left knee or thigh. Again, palm to palm, heart comes to thumbs. Look up and over that left shoulder. We can curl the right toes under, lift that right knee up. Breath in, breath out. Inhale through high lunge, both arms up. Draw the right knee forward and up, right knee forward and up. Hands to heart center. Cross your right leg over your left leg. You can hook the right ankle behind the left. Arms reach out to the sides and up, inhale. Right arm beneath left arm, exhale. Wrap the forearm. So elbows are parallel with shoulders. Keep bending the knees, keep dropping the tail, Garudasana, breath in. Add adduction of the thighs actively, breath out. Inhale up, right knee up, arms up. Just release your right foot down, hands to heart center, exhale. Arms reach out to the sides and up, inhale. Exhale, fold all the way down. Left leg steps back. Right leg back and up, deep breath in. As Soon as that right leg is up, we're gonna keep that left foot down and we're gonna right hand down as well. Reach that left hand back, hold your left ankle. Now release the right foot down, the left hand to the back of the left thigh, bend the knees toward the ground, turn your knees to the left, sitting on the buttocks. So all left turns again, right hand behind the right shoulder, left hand can hold left shin at first, we're gonna lift the chest, but then we're gonna move the left hand outside the torso, fingers point forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together, move your hips away from that right arm, left hand moves away as well. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the chest slightly. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. And breath out. Round the spine. Draw knees into forehead. Push the feet forward. Sit up. We'll take right elbow to right knee or, th or right knee. Left hand holds left shin, place your thumb inside a fist, bring your right knuckles towards your right shoulder, close your eyes. Really contract the right biceps, expand the back of that right elbow.
And give it a good shake, shake, shake. So release it. Shake, shake, shake. And again, we're going to rock back and forth three times. So hold behind the thighs and rock back. Rock forward to a seat. Rock back. Rock forward to your feet. Rock back. Rock forward to feet and hands. Fly, crow, lean forward, lift off. Fly back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale. Lower toward the ground, exhale. Lay down. Lay down. And we can take that right arm off to the right side. Right palm is flat. Roll toward that right arm. As you roll, plant the left foot behind you. Right foot behind you. Move your hips away from this right arm. Left arm reaches up. And left hand can drop down the low back. Just close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'll roll back onto the abdomen. And before we rest, I want to show you a little something just because this is part of a teacher training. The most valuable thing you can carry with you for a private lesson or for a class is a little hand towel. And if you take the hand towel, fold it into thirds, and roll it up like you'd be rolling a sock. If somebody has pain in their elbow with this pose, and you take this and place it just beneath their elbow, it will prevent the elbow from hyperextending. So as they roll, it's isolated in the shoulder, but they do not feel this in the elbow. Just a little side note, something I wanted to point out. All right, now you can lay down. You can lay down, arms out in front of you, big toes together, palms together, forehead to the ground. And with your eyes closed again, you may choose to add that Brahmari sound, soothing sound, soothing yourself into yourself. We have the self within, we have the self without. Find them together. This is svasta. This is abiding within the self. This is health. Breathe. And we can look toward the hands, and we can take the hands flat, push up to plank. As soon as we're in plank, we'll move that left hand beneath the nose, side plank, right arm up and over the head, deep breath in, reach. Lower down twice, exhale. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Right foot steps toward the left hand. Drop both hands, turn halfway to your left. And as soon as you've turned halfway to the left, let's turn both feet out equal. Bend both knees, squatting back, arms reach up, deep breath in. Bring the hands to heart center. <clears throat> Close the eyes. Breath in. Breath out. Feel as you drop the tail down. Feel the sit bones squeezing toward one another. And then we'll inhale, straighten the legs. As Soon as we straighten the legs, turn the toes in. Exhale, let's fold. Arms out to the sides and down. Catch beneath the heels of the feet. Drop the head, relax the neck. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now, we will do an inversion from here, but not yet. So I give you the option. If you would like, you can make this more about the adductors, meaning that the feet could hop back. We drop to the knees, 
heels directly behind the knees, and then forearms to the floor. But if we prefer, we can stay where we are or take Samakonasana. Samakonasana is where we take the legs as wide apart as they will go, and we lower to the forearms. So how low we go is up to our adductors today. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring the hands beneath the shoulders. Slowly bring the feet back in so they're a manageable width apart for an inversion. We're gonna take any inversion that feels right for us today, whether it's a bound headstand, a tripod headstand, forearm stand, maybe we wanna work on handstand again. But we really wanna end up with our knees down in the center of our mat. So you can take a hop back. If you wanna work on forearm stand, it's something you haven't really tried a lot, then I do recommend just trying because you can bring the forearms down, hands a little closer together, elbows no wider than the shoulders. If you exhale, lean forward, feet might lift a little, and they come right back down. But then you can lean out of the hands and forearms and then lean back to them. Exhale, inhale, relax. And just, just like handstand, it really is a lean exhale, inhale, relax. Lean exhale, inhale, relax. Hold your inversion when you get there. Begin to bring the knees down, knees down. Once the knees are down, you can take just a moment, big toes together, knees wide, but take the arms back by your sides, palms face up, forehead to your mat. We can move to a hands and knees position. Hands beneath shoulders, knees beneath hips. Inhale, tilt the pelvis forward, lift the chin, look up. Exhale, we round. Inhale, tilt the pelvis forward, lift the chin, look up. Exhale, we round. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Then inhale, neutralize. We're on the knees. We're going to lift up to kneeling. Thumbs either side of the sacrum. As soon as the thumbs are either side of the sacrum, we can curl the toes under, keep them curled under, or we can keep the tops of the feet flat. But let's draw the shoulders back, just like we did in the beginning of class. Drop the tail down. Draw the chin back. Move the hips forward. As the hips move forward, we might drop the hands to the heels, or we could walk the hands down the back of the leg. If we can take the hands to the heels, hold them, move the hips away from the heels. Inhale up, hands can move back to the low back. Hips on heels, big toes together, knees wide, palms face down on the thighs, close your eyes for a moment. If this becomes too much, you can sit on your buttocks because the next pose we're going to have is also kneeling. You may choose to sit on your buttocks right now. You can do both this and the next posture on your backside. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now let's inhale for Brahmari breath. So deep breath in. When you go to exhale, mouth stays closed, hum. Hum and breathe out through the nostrils. Five more times. Mm. 
up. Exhale, hands down out in front of you. If you're seated on the backside, stay there. If you're kneeling, let's just curl the toes under, lift the knees for a brief moment. Just for a brief moment. We might not be on our mat at all, but it doesn't matter. And then come back down to the knees, big toes together, knees wide. And we'll take our left hand, hold our left shin. Now, if we're sitting on our buttocks, we're just gonna reach that left arm off to the left side. If we're holding our ankle, well, we're gonna continue to hold the ankle. Reach that right arm up, take a deep breath in. On our exhale, right hand holds left ear, pull right ear to right shoulder, and then move your torso to the right, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, Parshva Gravasana. Deep breath out. Inhale back through center, switch the grip, right hand holds right shin, left arm reaches up, grab the right ear, gently pull, feel the torso move to the left. The torso will always move away from the arm that is being pinned down. Inhale back through center, both arms up, look up, both hands down. Exhale, take the hands to the floor. Knees are on the back edge of the mat. Hands can be just on the front edge of the mat. Tilt the pelvis forward, lift the chin, look up, inhale. Contract the back side of the neck. Walk the hands forward, exhale. Chin toward the ground, it doesn't have to touch. We can always slide the hands a little bit more forward. Begin to lift the chest, slowly slide the hands back. And now we want to end up with the legs wide, but we want to do this from a forward roll. So here's how we're going to do it. I don't have as much space as you may have. I'm going to move my mat a little bit. <clears throat> Take a little hop back. So your feet are not on your mat. We're going to bend the knees, look toward the navel, hands flat, lift the buttocks. Now listen, as you start to roll, legs go wide. All right, here we go. As you start to roll, legs go wide. Woo! I rolled off my mat. I'm not even in the picture anymore. <laughs> legs wide. All right, once the legs are wide, oh Eureka. We're going to tilt the pelvis forward, lift the chin, look up, inhale. On the exhale, walk the hands forward. Now as the hands walk forward, I want you to grip with the fingertips, draw the chest more forward, flex the toes. Walk the hands back, inhale, look up. On our exhale, we're gonna bring our right foot inside of our left thigh. So your torso is just between your two knees. 
If you were to look at it, right knee's pointing out, left knee's pointing out, torso right in between. Right hand behind you, left hand to right knee, lift the chest, look up, inhale. Exhale, we reach over the head. We don't have to touch the toes. The reach is the most important part. We wanna keep that right hip down as well. So right hand can come to the back of the head, elbow points up, stretch the entire right side of the body. You can also bring your left elbow inside of your left thigh to actually rotate the torso more out. Inhale back up. On your exhale, you're actually gonna turn to your left foot. As Soon as you're facing your left foot, you're gonna bend your right knee up, left knee up, take both hands back behind you, lift the hips up, deep breath in. On your exhale, hips between the hands. Inhale up, let's do that one more time. Exhale, hips between the hands. Inhale up, and drop the hips. Move your right leg a little off to the side, just bend your left knee like you're coming into pigeon, because we are gonna come into pigeon, ekapada kaputasana. Once that left leg is where we need it, right leg's gonna swing around back behind us. And we're gonna stay upright. So we worked on this right side of the torso just now. We stretched the right side of the torso. Let's lift the chin and chest, look up. Breath in, hold, breath out. Start to let it go, walk those hands forward all the way, forehead toward the ground. We won't stay here as long. Breath in, breath out. One more. Walk the hands backward. Swing this right leg back around. Bend the right knee up. To take your left ankle atop your right thigh. Cradle your ankle and your right elbow. Take your left arm inside your figure four and cradle your shin. And you could just rock a little bit side to side and right now feel like, yeah, this is plenty. I'm really not feeling much more than this because we didn't really double stretch that second, that left side, only the right side. So if you want to stay here, stay. Otherwise, you're going to twist to the right. Use your right hand on that left heel. Take that left tricep to the bottom of your left foot. And we can hold the right ankle if we choose. Right hand, hand back behind us. Feel left hip pull forward, right hip pull backward. Look over that right shoulder. You could also hold the arch of the right foot. Start to let this go, just let it go slow. Release the left leg out in front of us. Bend the right knee, open that right knee back up, and extend the right leg off to the right side. So this is exactly where we started. Again, inhale, tilt the pelvis forward, lift the chin, look up. Exhale, walk the hands forward. We won't stay here as long. Walk the hands back, bend the left knee, left foot inside of right thigh, both knees. Again, the torso sits just in between them. We're gonna take our right hand to our left knee, left hand behind us, twist. Then reach that left arm up, keep this left hip down. You can always bring your left hand to the back of your head. You can also bring the right elbow inside the right knee or thigh.
Inhale back up. Turn to your right. Turn to your right. And we'll bend our left knee up, right knee up. Both hands back behind us. Fingertips point toward the feet. Lift those hips up. Deep breath in. Exhale, hips between the hands. Inhale up. Again, exhale. Inhale up. Now half seat. Bend the right knee for pigeon. So left leg's out of the way. Slide the left leg around. Find that upright position. Keeping the torso upright. Left hip being pulled forward and down. Let's the chin look up, close the eyes, and just breathe. Hands can walk forward as we're ready. Relax the forehead down. Hands walk back. We're gonna swing that left leg around. And as soon as the left leg has swung around, left knee points up. Take your right ankle atop left thigh. Hold your right ankle with your left elbow. So cradle that right ankle with left, left arm. Right arm inside the figure four. Cradle your shin with your right arm. Hold here, take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. And this could be exactly where we need to stay. You know, we feel a nice deep stretch, external rotation in the right hip. Uh, but if we want more than this, hold your right heel with your left hand, right tricep outside, right or to the bottom of the right foot. You can hold your left ankle or you can hold the arch of your left foot, but feel right hip pull forward, left hip pull back, left hands behind you, look over the left shoulder. Inhale back to center. Start to let this leg go. Re-extend the right leg. Bring your left foot inside the right thigh. And again, we're gonna turn to our left and re-extend this left leg. Once the left leg has re-extended, lift the chin and chest, look up. And then exhale, walk the hands forward. But this is the final walking of the hands forward. Keep the toes flat, lead with your heart more forward. We can start to walk those hands back. As the hands walk back, bring the legs in. Scoot your hips so that they're just at the front edge of your mat. And we're gonna roll halfway, halfway back, so your back is on the floor. <clears throat> your neck might actually overlap the edge of your mat. If that's the case and your mat's really thick, then I want you instead to make sure that it overlaps at C7. That means right where the cervical spine actually starts, right at the top of your upper back. All right, otherwise it's, it's, you know, right where you are is fine, palms by your sides, lift the legs up, support your back, and take the legs up from there. One leg at a time or both legs. Push into the back of your head, that part's really important. And you wanna keep looking up towards your big toes. <clears throat> 